and today we're on another walk in another woodland not too far from home in Nottingham And yes, we've got a bit of history to tell you about this place. Hello, good boy. You can see I'm all right, good boy. Come on, babe. Come. On. Good girl. Ugh. Didn't tell me it was an obstacle course, Key. I didn't know. So on the evening and night of October the 13th, 1940, a thick fog covered Nottinghamshire and that was to cause the sad demise of some Polish airmen. I'll tell you a little bit more as we get into the walk. <laughs> That's my phone this time, not yours. Switch the volume down on mine. <laughs> nice place for cycling. It is. Some uh, well, hard, firm ground as well as the uh, off track, off road bikes as well, isn't it? Yeah. There's quite a few, quite a number of them at the moment. 
crisscrossing around, isn't there? Yeah, there are. So you know more about the history of this place. It was a pit, was it? Yeah, it's the old... Right. Yeah. Calverton Pit. I mm -hmm. think it's Calverton Pit, we'll find out. Um, but they've, they're actually turning it into a nature reserve. And that's that way on our right, so we go rapidly round it. And I think you can get a path that comes back round through it. Mm -hmm. And it's the one that we saw all the ghosts on for the other video, previous video. The lo yeah, lockdown video. Yeah. First one we did. And uh, but, uh, it's quite an area. The trig point, so it must be on the top of the bits wherever we are. But it looks like higher ground up that way, so I don't know why the trig point is here. It's not me last day, <laughs> That smells nice. Fresh pine. It's so a late afternoon on the October the 13th, a plane took off, it was one of 125 that took off that evening, it was a fairy battle, and it took off from RAF Syreston to fly a sortie over France. Most of the flight returned home okay, although there were a few problems due to the fog. This fairy battle didn't return. We're going that way. You are trying to get me lost. You <laughs> put this back up in the scorn here. Okay. See, it's not always me who doesn't know where we are. <clears throat> so we're back on the right track. <laughs> Honest. We could have got it to it up that way, but this takes us a bit through the woods a bit more. been out. I think you might be right. So the plane we're talking about on this walk was part of the 300 Masovian squadron flown by Polish airmen. And the fog that we mentioned was causing problems all over the county. And more than that, the ground crew at RF Syerson weren't able to put landing flares out.
The particular aircraft that we were talking about, L5499, had been in the air for six hours when it ran out of fuel and had no way of making it back to the airfield. And sadly it crashed here and burst into a ball of flame, killing all three airmen. Locals rushed to the scene to try and rescue the airmen, but it was too late. The plane was in a ball of flame and munitions were exploding so they couldn't get anywhere near. A few hours later, when the plane was burnt out, the bodies were recovered and taken to a nearby cemetery, Wilford, not far from here, where they were buried and their graves lie to this day. A sad story of three young airmen who gave their lives for this country and for the free world, and they're only young, 39, 35, and 22. So it's nice to pay a tribute to them, and to just say thank you, and to have a memorial to them where they crashed. So on the Saturday before Remembrance Day, the, they gather at the memorial, the British Legion, the Polish um, Society, and villagers from Calverton to lay their wreaths there and pay their respects to the three airmen. It could have quite easily have been crashing onto the village itself, which is just down at, over the hill to our left. So the, very grateful that I'm very fortunate that it didn't. So you're just saying the first time you came here with the dogs, or one of the first times, yeah. it was completely different? Yeah, certainly the bit that we've just come round. Um, it was all flattened and cleared and obviously replanted uh, since then and the, the trees have grown. So uh, yes, it was just a desolate area really. I mean, it's nice now, but can you imagine 50 years, 100 years time, how dense, unless they really do a lot of clearing again in the meantime, but how nice it's gonna be. Yeah. And then imagine, hundred years ago when it was a coal a working pit, yeah. Working pit, yeah. As we've said before, it's nice how with or without a bit of help from humans, nature does reclaim, doesn't it? It does. Come on this way. Now Yeah. And we're reading in the news that uh, Wildlife reclaiming the empty cities, aren't we? Yeah. Come on out. Oh, they found dirty water. Come on. Rum. Rum certainly has. Come on. Oh, base clean. Tor. Tor, get out. Rum sounds wet. Not too bad. Mm. <laughs> So we said in our last question and answer video about the dogs and how well behaved and trained they are. Sometimes. Rum and water. No. <laughs> he does go selectively deaf. When he knows or smells water, he's gone. And until he's got his feet wet, there's absolutely no way of getting him back.
have lots of little tracks off, aren't they? Yeah. So we're back on the main track now. Heading back towards the car. Unless you want to go along further that way, it's up to you. Can do. This way. So we're back on the track. I think we joined this path just round that bend. So we'll go back this way. So this is the uh, restor restoration scheme for the uh, colliery tip. And just plenty of paths just to walk around. You were saying it's not. It's such a big area, isn't it, that you can just lose yourself away from other people. Yes. And this is the main strip, really, in, yeah. into the uh, the area. This is from the, this this goes down or comes up from the car park, and there's obviously paths on either side that we've some of which we've uh, we've used today. Traversed. Traversed. Ooh. That's my posh word for the day. <laughs> Pleasant breeze, actually. Yeah, it's cooling. It's <clears throat> right. I think we can recommend people coming to Nottingham, can't they? If they like the countryside, really, it's they yeah. don't don't need to think they've got to go to Nottinghamshire. They can stay around Nottingham, so they mm. get a bit of city life as well. But plenty of walks around. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're not that far from the city centre, are we? No. To be fair, so um, we're about twenty minutes, twenty-five minutes. At yeah, least, so. from here. You can stay in a bed and breakfast, an Airbnb or whatever. And or a camper van. Or a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> when you can. Yes. But, uh, Plenty of walks around as we're finding. I mean, we knew some of them anyway, didn't we? But others, yes, we didn't know that well. So Don't write it off just thinking it's a city and there's nothing around, apart from city. But I'm sure um, most places will have their own areas like this. Not far from where where you live. It's just a matter of exploring and finding them. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? <laughs> you can't beat Manchester, though. Yeah, but once you're in Manchester, you can't get out to this sort of country no, in, in 20 as, minutes. Not, not as easily, no. And here we are, back at the beginning. A nice circular. Really? 
what we're doing next. It might be coffee time. I think you might be right. But I'm going to wait. Because it's a bit muddy there. Another nice walk. So we're back home. Yeah. Coffee's made, brewed, whatever. It must be coffee time. It must be coffee time. You are having a pan of chocolate. I am. I'm good. I'm not. Turn it up the right way. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. So on the evening and the night of October 13th, 1940, a thick fog. Fog? <laughs> a thick fog covered Nottinghamshire, including this woodland, which was to cause well, I don't know where you're going with this. Neither do I. A thick fog <laughs> these are outtakes. <laughs> A thick fog. Let's start again. So at, five t so at 10 past 5 in the afternoon on that, that day, a ferry battle plane took off from RAF Syaston to fly a sort. To fly a sort. <laughs>